Duke Succulus is the easiest of the four new DT2 bosses, so let's speedrun some tips and tricks. First, mark these tiles. You can run skip over the eye attack when collecting mushrooms. By starting on this tile, you can avoid all eye damage when getting to the mushroom. Between kills, you can also run to the mushroom before Duke wakes up to save a little bit of time. The actual fight is simple. Make sure to stand one tile away from Duke with Protect Melee up between your attacks, as this slightly reduces damage. It's okay if you're still standing next to Duke during the Crystal Wave part of the attack, as this deals the same damage whether you're next to it or on it. If you stand more than one tile away, Duke will use a Mage Attack that regularly hits for 30 plus damage. It's helpful to count as auto attacks, as every sixth attack is the Eye Attack, where you need to stand behind the pillar for safety. Listen to the Ice Barrage sound effect to know when it's safe to resume attacking. If he doesn't slam the ground on attacks 1 through 5, it means he's sending out a poison attack. Simply run to the other side as soon as he launches the poison. When he only does one poison cloud, run straight across, but at 50% HP he starts doing two and you can attack him as you run across. For gear, bring a BGS to spec with to start the kill. We'll use a Fang on Slash for a majority of the kill. Initially, Duke's auto attacks are on a 5 tick cycle, so the timing works perfect for a Fang. At 115 HP though, we need to swap to an Arc Light to finish the kill, as the Duke's auto attack cycle swaps from 5 ticks to 4 ticks. Bring our Saiya Spellbook with Thralls and Death Charge, as Death Charge will allow you to get at least one spec each kill without bringing Light Bear. I'd also recommend a Blood Fury to extend trips. With these tips in mind, you'll get even longer Duke trips. As always, good luck and happy scaping.